That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why it's like nine dollars a box. Did it really live up to the hype, dude? This was good. It's good. It's really good. We know everyone is stuck inside right now, so we went to the Japanese market, bought over 50 snacks, and we're gonna tell you which are the best instant ramens, potato snacks, cookies, corn snacks, and seaweed. This is your 2020 Japanese snack guide. Okay, starting off with round one, we got the hot instant ramens. I called dibs on Sichuan inspired spicy sesame. Wow, I knew you were gonna pick that yeah, one. I, I kinda gotta go to, with the seafood tonkatsu. Okay, so we have 10 different flavors of ramen here. These are- Advanced flavors. These advanced are advanced flavors, flavors that this, I've actually never tried. We got these from the Japanese market. Man, let's get into it. Here, I'm gonna start with the shoyu ramen because uh, recently I've been eating a lot of shoyu ramen and that's what I've been ordering. Instant ramen, round one. Mm. You do have that like really fatty flavor from the tonkotsu, but the seafood really does come out in it. The noodles are, I mean, they're instant noodles. I like mine, but um, I kind of wanted the tan tan flavor to be a little bit more kicking. Okay. Mm. And, and a lot of things in Japan actually are built for a Japanese market, are gonna feel like a little light to an American market. My shoyu, pretty simple flavor. I would say I could pass on the shoyu ramen. Instant, instant ramen, ramen section two. I got a miso. Guys, I have the spicy miso tonkatsu. And I have the chicken pai tan. Man, your chops, yo, your chopstick is mad long, bro. It's like all up in my face. <laughs> miso flavor one, good. I give it a four out of five. You got a little piece of cabbage in there too. <laughs> wow. That was dehydrated. Weesh. My spicy miso tonkatsu is actually pretty delicious. Really? I'm kind of disappointed in, in the in the chicken python. For spending more money on the menorako, I'd expect it to be better than the uh, cup noodle. And they're about the same. All right, Ryan, you're given the duty to judge the tonkatsus next to each other. Can I get a water? Uh, Refill? I, th I think that, that's replicating realistic conditions because yeah. sometimes <laughs> it's just you're off with the water. Yeah. Dude, Whoa. that looks fire. That looks hella Yo, good. I got curry potatoes. What you got in here, man? You got an octopus? Oh! Is that an octopus leg? Whoa! Oh. Instant ramen, ramen section, section three. three. Wow, I got an octopus? This is a premium cup of noodle right here. Look at oh, this man. curry flavor. Yo, this seafood one really has a lot of authentic, deep, Seafood flavor, everything down to the pieces of octopus that are in it. All right, well, Andrew, me, me and you got to oh, switch. I got to try that one. Maybe reach for my chair. All right, Benson, what you going with? The taste is just like a little bit, a little off. It's a little too salty for me. And you can also tell in the quality of the noodles. Like these noodles are a lot better than these. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I give it to the Menraku. Man, I gotta say, all right, so between the two ramen that I had, I actually might have to say the seafood one did the best job of capturing true seafood flavor. I gotta say, does your say no added MSG? Yeah. Wow. You know awesome. what, that's, that's what it was missing. It needed the MSG. MSG. <laughs> What'd you guys like? For me, I like the miso Menraku. I think it's tough because you wanna try these premium instant ramens, but actually I think the regular ramen flavors can do pretty well. Too. Out of all the ramens that I've tried, I actually like the tonkotsu the best, just the regular plain flavor. I think when you're adding too much, especially when it comes to an instant noodle, mm -hmm. it kind of gets lost in everything. But I think miso not being a protein, it really worked well. That was our instant ramen round. Look into non-protein based flavors. And definitely any spicy flavor of instant ramen, I think is a go. If you're getting instant noodles, go simple. There's the, that's, that's the way to go. Tongatsu. So moving on to round two, we have the chip section. We're gonna break it up into two sections. The first section is gonna be potatoes, and then the second section will be things made out of corn. Japanese Pringles, jalapeno onion. Ooh, that's good. Way crunchier. The flavor of the jalapeno is way more forward than any type of the American Pringles. Three, Three cheese, cheese Pringles. Pringles. I'm going with the jalapeno onion. Might be better than any American Pringles flavor. Moving on to the potato section. I got a Calbee, which is a uh, classic Japanese, Japanese brand. brand. You got Calbee's too? No, I got the uh, Karamucho, hot chili and seaweed. A four cheese fancy mix right here. I believe mine is powdered soybean flavor. Yo! I got cheese on my chip. Ooh, it's really good though. Some of the nori coming in. I'm not gonna lie guys, this four cheese blend chip, a little disappointing. Yeah, yeah I, like I think it. so. I gotta go with the Karamuchos from Taiwan. Yeah. 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 We have the Chip Star S Butter Shoyu, and then we have these white chocolate dipped Jaga Choco. Butter, butter Shoyu, shoyu chips. chips. I'm not getting enough Shoyu flavor for this to really like work for me. Wasn't but, really feeling that, guys. Yeah. Try the white chocolate, the Jaga Choco. That's definitely an interesting texture though. Yeah, I gotta have another one. To have the white chocolate kind of melt in your mouth as you're chewing. I'm actually surprised that the chips stayed so 
crispy. Yeah. While being coated in white chocolate. Guys, we have four different French fry snacks. Let's start with the most famous, the Jagabee by Calbee. Jagabee. Jagabee. Before you bite into it, you think it's gonna eat like a fry and then it's just like super crunchy. Very natural potato organic. Soy, soy butter Jagabees. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's how soy butter is supposed to taste. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, sweet, sweet potato, potato fries. fries. Oh. Wow, that's oh. really good flavor though. Kind of addictive. It's addicting. This is up there, man. Yeah, yeah, in All terms right. of like, I can't believe that just came out of a bag shipped from where? What part of Japan? Just Los Angeles. No, Japan, product <laughs> of Japan. <laughs> Overall, guys, potato chip section. Those oh are God. so good. I would continue to eat each and every one of these. Put your hand over the one on three. Ichi, ni, san. Oh, wow. Wait. All right, you guys, moving on to section number two under the chip umbrella round. Wow. We've got savory corn chips, cheese rings. Yo, this is going up against Cheetos, guys. It's better than a Cheeto. The texture's better. Like, there's a little bit of sweetness that comes with the cheese, too. Very similar to the Cheeto puffs, if you guys have had those. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Mentai. Mentai. Oh. <laughs> was not expecting that, that flavor after smelling it. The smell's like super, super fishy. No, I, I enjoyed that, actually. Salad, Salad rings. rings. I think this is my favorite. Very subtle. I've had these before. These these God. are these are one of my favorite snacks. Sweet, Sweet corn, corn stick. Mm. Kind of like a corn puff. I think for the sake of the corn flavor, I think this one. I this think one this is it. it. This yeah. is the most this unique too. Moving on to section three. Woo! We are on woo, to woo, candies woo. and chocolates. The chip section had me fading for a second. Uh, I think going through the panda biscuits would be a great energizer. Okay. Let's do it. Panda, panda biscuits. biscuits. Clearly a biscuit because I tasted the butter. Okay, the matcha one's okay. The strawberry one's good. You got good strawberry flavor without being it, like too artificial. Three, two, one. Strawberry! Strawberry! I think the strawberry though, definitely, it had like a burst of like tartness too that was kind of like brightened your palate. One is chocolate chip vanilla and one is chocolate cocoa. Country, Country man. man. Chocolate chip one first. Yeah, caught chocolate chip first. It's a good quality chocolate chip. A, a step up from chips away. Double chocolate. The milk chocolate, regular one was better. Japanese, Japanese fruit belts. Here's my thing about Japanese fruit snacks is that they generally do a better job of infusing real fruit flavors into their fruit snacks. Yo, this smells wow. insane. Wow. You're splitting it up like string good. cheese. That's what my instructor told me to. Mm. That might have been the most fascinating texture we've had today. All right, in comparison to a sour belt, honestly, the fruit flavor is better, but I'm not sure if I'm used to the texture. I feel like if it was longer, it'd be more fun to play with. You got Heidi the, Lab the, doing the, the noodle the, dance. The, the playability. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip candy. Wow. L. <laughs> It tastes like chocolate chip without it being too sweet. And for a candy, that's, that's pretty hard to do. Naruto, Naruto rock, rock candy. candy. You read the ingredients? Sugar. Coloring. <laughs> that's it. I think this is a really old school snack, man. Guys, here we have these chocolate pastries by Lot. Whoa! Whoa! Lot chocolate pies. Mm. It's kind of like puff pastry. I did not expect like that first bite. And then you get a nice burst of like chocolate. All right, we have three flavors of melty blends, guys. We have the strawberry one, we have the premium chocolate one, and then we have the mango one. Mango, mango chocolate. chocolate. That looks good. Better than the matcha. Guys, this is the strawberry melty blend. That tastes like one of those fancy chocolates that you get out of the box for like Valentine's Day. Three, two, one. Go with the mango. Damn, you guys have literally voted together a couple times, and I, I've always been the. Uh... It's almost as if we live together and work <laughs> together and hoop together and eat together. All right, guys, we have the Uhas, the high chew competitor. I feel like the the competition really breaks down. It goes high chew versus Poo Chow versus Uha. Yeah. All right, Muscat flavor of high chew, Poo Chow, and Uha. Uha easily the juiciest, but probably with the least enjoyable texture. Yeah. Cola, Cola Uha. Uha. Got some fizzy soda in the middle. Try the cola one, but not for taste, just like for the experience. For the experience, the, man. Yeah. Just to expand your horizons. Oh man. You guys, we probably just went from the least traditional section, and we are immediately gonna transport to the most traditional section, the dried nori, the dry seaweed section. You guys know they treat seaweed like such an art form mm. in Japan. Wasabi, Wasabi seaweed. seaweed. I'm actually excited. Ooh. You could tell the drying method and stuff like that uh, wasn't as advanced. It kind of had a little like uh, 
dark flavor to it. Teriyaki seaweed. Oh, this one has a kick almost right off the bat. Oh, I forgot to mention, hot and spicy. Yeah. Version. The seaweed quality is sort of the way I'm sure it was dried or grilled. I like it a little bitter. Yeah. Can you just hear it slide out? Whoa! Whoa. Expensive seaweed I for the win! I see why this is expensive seaweed. Whoa. Ten bucks. Everything about it. The texture, the presentation, the taste. This is the best seaweed snack I've ever had in my entire life. Boom, you guys! We are at the end of our Japanese supermarket journey. Guess what? You cannot find these anywhere in a Western market, and you cannot find this in any market. Woo! These were <laughs> sold out the first time we went to the market. We went back, and here we have the brown sugar boba ice cream. People bars. are going ham on these. Yo, so a Taiwanese brand made it, but they serve it at the Japanese market. So All right, so we're gonna eat this at the end, guys. That's for sports, and, and essentially right now, we've been through a snack marathon, so you need that. Jelly, Jelly packs. packs. It's not bad. This is good. Oh, this is just like one of the lychee jellies, except in a pouch form. You know what I noticed about the gel packs, and maybe because they are designed for energy, but they're definitely got more of that sports vitamin water feel where, mm. where the all the flavors are muted. Guys, ending off for dessert, of course, we have to bust out the brown sugar boba ice cream bars. Hold on, guys, for the clout. Uh, I just know there's a few girls who are gonna want to see me. <laughs> so let's try the brown sugar boba ice cream bars. That's good. <laughs> I can see why it's like $9 Damn. a box. Did it really live up to the hype? Dude, it's this was good. good. <laughs> it's really good. I actually like this better than brown sugar boba yeah. itself. Yeah. The sugar's like caramelized, got some nice vanilla notes in it. The bobas are really soft. They're really soft. I think we just gotta give it up to these, man. These really lived up to the hype, I gotta say. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so oh. much for watching that. That was part two of a crazy Japanese supermarket journey. Guys, we Ooh. ate over 50 Japanese snacks. Uh, we told you our recommendations, which ones we thought were the most interesting, the ones that we thought were the best. In the comments section below, please let us know what is another Japanese snack that we did not try that we have to check out. If there's an American counterpart to it, let us know what the comparison is. Guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, please. We're still making videos during the quarantine. Check out Ryan's links down below. And until next time, everybody, we out. Peace. Here's a pro tip, guys. A lot of the good movies are actually not on Netflix. You gotta buy them for like $3.99, watch once. Yeah. yeah. That's what I realized. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Watch it's some true, movies. it's true. Not everything. Don't be so cheap, you're wasting your time on bad content, guys. Pay for content.